or so Asian tea time. Michael! Are you up? That asshole never listens. It's just time and we're going to go. I don't care what he's doing, he's done. He's gonna go, he's gonna get close to the Lord. He's gonna change his shit. And his pants. Because it smells like shit. Anyway! Michael! Get up! Stop combing your hair! It looks like shit already! Mike! What is it? Oh my god! God damn! God damn! Disgusting! Disgusting! Yes. I'd act the same way. If your psychiatrist came in and saw you fapping the birds, pulling your wiener stretch, doing the Olympics with your cock ring. Let me first start off by saying, Michael, nothing to be embarrassed about. Okay? Look at me! Nothing to be embarrassed about. Boy, he is Jason. Does it? Disgusting, probably because he's pulling his old, decayed, mummy-like dick to his mother, but he does it. Freddy Krueger. Disgusting. And probably tears his wiener up like some goddamn beanie weenies afterwards. Because he doesn't he does it. And even Leatherface pulls the pork pony. Now and again. So it's okay. I forget sometimes that you were a man before you gave in to the rage. Before you gave in to the Ricky Lake talk time day show bullshit. You were a man. And you liked playing Hide the wiener with your hand. I forget this. You have urges. You like pooty tang. Tang of the pooty. Don't look at it. It's got calluses. It might be a few days before those go away. You know. But I think maybe you need education. I know I have to have this talk with you now. I don't want to do it. I'd rather let Dr. Chalice's drunk ass do it. Yeah, I, I agree with you. God damn, that's, that's a nasty ass shit. I don't know what stories he has to tell. Fucking Budapest. Red light district shit. Make your shit turn whiter than the mask that you have on now. But nonetheless, we're going to have this conversation. Yeah, we're going to have this conversation. Yeah, we are. I don't care what you're saying. And you're shaking your head no, but it means yes. Today's opposite day, so get fucking ready. I don't care! Stop it! We're doing it! Now! We're doing it! Look. Don't fucking touch! Look. Now this... Actually. This is your wiener. Quite diseased and yellow. Looking like that asshole from Sin City that gets put back together. The orange one. I don't know. I think he was Elijah Wood. Right? This one? It's goddamn John Holmes dick. You show this to a woman? You might not have a date. Because I get scared, right? For... Doubt! For purposes of this conversation, this is the wiener. You say. At least your wiener. 
with one orange ball representing of your testicle because you only have one and it's orange Michael probably I don't know I don't see your goddamn wiener and she says Mike come upstairs have some free time with me I don't work tomorrow until late wink wink you know as she would do you said do you have Netflix? Do you like to chill? She said, I like to chill sometimes. This is clear indicator right away that she wants you to staple her papers together. I'll get to that. You walk up the stairs. To her apartment, or it might be a one floor landing, it doesn't matter. You go to her apartment. Things are getting hot and heavy. Don't do that with me here. Don't! I'm trying to teach you something. Things are getting hot and heavy. You put on Millie Vanilli. Girl, you know it's true. Even though you don't want to get it stuck on that track because that will ruin your concentration. You're like, girl, you know it. Girl, you know. It's a great song, but you don't want to have that happen. You put on some romantic music, you have some wine, you pop it up, and then you start kissing. You start kissing, and then eventually what you're going to do is you're going to insert the goddamn space shuttle into the ejection pod like this. You see. You see. And then you will go back and forth a few times. Picking up momentum. Having a good time like David Bowie in Fame, the song. What? No, I will not be there, Mike. I'm not helping you. What? You cannot stop a vagina. You can't do that. You see, Michael, this is what is called a vagini, or a vagina. Yes, yeah, it's scary sometimes when you're not used to it. Goddamn. Looks like a stargate into another world. What you want to do is go right into the center field. You see? Like that. Yes. No, not. That's the taint. That's the gooch. That's the gooch magooch. You go up for further up. There was a Mrs. Loomis once, a long time ago, Michael. I don't know if I told you this story. She was beautiful. In kind of a far away, kind of distant way. I, I enjoyed her. We had a great time together. She was something. Don't put your squash on my hand when I'm reflecting. She was something. We had a great time together. We would go to the mall and shop around and things like that. We would listen to... Paula Cole on a compact disc player. And are you squishing that orange? We would listen to that and then we would make passionate love in a picnic somewhere far off when no one was around. No cops could get involved, you know. And then she would put on her sexy go-go boots looking like a sexier Jake the Snake Roberts and straddle me and have sex and my anaconda would be unfurled and her blooming flower would be ripe God damn Mike God damn the Paula Cole song still rings in my ear. Where have all the cowboys gone, Mike? Where's the John Wayne, the Clint Eastwoods? Where's the Robert Redford? God damn! I loved him when he's gone, Mike. yippee ki yay 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 What are you going to do on October 31st? What are you going to do on October 31st? Here comes that white-faced fucker, an asshole like no other, he's a big old piece of shit, wants to stab your sister's tits cause he's a white-faced fucker, Loomis can't recover, Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you 
want to know about the darkness. I said, God damn. God damn you, Ooh, I said, God damn. A lot of people don't know the darkness that goes inside their hearts. I said, God damn. God damn you, Michael. Uh, uh, uh. What are you going to do on October 31st?